Hi, it's Anthony from okuplay.com and today we've just put a manual update of the latest firmware for the Oculus Quest in Quest 2. I'm running the Quest 2 at the moment. As you can see here, if I go down to the About section, you can see we're on version 23. And um, just looking around, uh, not much extra to play with here. Um, uh, one thing I did notice is you've now got unlock pattern so you can set like a pattern to unlock the device if you're sharing it with others and you don't want them to to use it so that's one thing there um, also you've got this white bar here which you can uh, grab and now move it around the world the space around you you can only do about 180 and as it comes to the edges it gets slightly closer uh, you can't bring it forward or away from you not even using the, um, the controls um, so there's that and um, another feature that is uh, kind of random and rolling out to only, only a few select people and I'm surprised I've got it and that is Oculus Move so Oculus Move is um, quite controversial because they kind of lifted um, a similar app that's on SideQuest and um, made it their own basically uh, and, it, and it is basically uh, um, fitness tracking whilst in the Quest if you use the Quest for fitness um, if you haven't got like an Apple Watch or uh, any other fitness tracker on you whilst you game this is a perfect way to kind of as close as it can get to estimate how much calories you've burnt um, whilst using uh, the Quest either in a fitness app such as BoxVR or um, in general games like Beat Saber. I mean a lot of uh, Quest apps are very active, um, not many of, of them are um, seated games so you are definitely burning some form of calories and this Oculus Move app uh, will do a good job of um, tracking that data and letting you know how um, much calories you've burnt. So we've not actually used this yet, I'll be using it for the first time. Um, I'll just literally fire it up and I thought maybe it would be a good idea to um, show this to you and go through this myself. So we'll just get ourselves set up and see how, um, how it looks and how it works. So um, as you can see it tells us how we can, um, what Oculus Move does set your goals to yourself and you can track progress over time so you can set weight um, sort of fitness goals and then how they're going to use your information uh, it's quite controversial generally for Oculus but I think if you're going to be sending your height your weight data your age and things like that that's something they could probably get from your Facebook account anyway um, so that's that and then um, so by adding your age weight and height and sex um, they can uh, get a more accurate value as to how many calories you've actually burnt. Um, so if you provide this uh, data, uh, they'll get a better estimate um, and it won't be so uh, a bit random. Um, I believe your data is actually held on the headset itself. It's not actually sent anywhere, but we'll see how accurate that is. Right, so we are male. Uh, we are um, five foot seven and a half but let's just go seven um, I only know kilograms and we're 71 at the moment a bit of lockdown weight and that's my date of birth there which just happened recently happy birthday to me and then daily target so that 50 calories is very light you'll burn that just by waking up and walking about a bit so let's just keep it moderate should really be in that category really for most people but uh, moderate is definitely achievable uh, set a target for move minutes how many minutes would you want to be active in VR each day uh, so I think 25 minutes is more than adequate Select your in-game overlay. Choose whether you, where to look to see your stats whilst playing the game in VR. You can edit this in the settings. So I assume 
if you're in a game, you don't want it to avoid uh, getting in the way of um, of your gameplay while still wanting to know what your stats might be. So I assume if you look up, you'll be able to see it because that's very rare that you're going to look up or look down. Again, I don't think um, uh, up is definitely a lot more rarer than looking down. So we'll just try down for now because it's a bit more easier because you might see uh, things like um, Space Pirate Trainer and, and other games where you are looking into space and you're shooting around. I think that will probably be still in the way there. So I think you're very more rarely looking down below. So let's do bottom. And then now it's asking me to jump into our favorite game. Um, we tapped in Oculus Move. Let's get going, right? So that's our dashboard. You create an achievement. Here you can see your calories burned, move minutes. Um, what else have we got? You can view a calendar of how active you've been. This looks very much like uh, Apple's rings, basically. Big rip off there. And then. Uh, your calories burn graph, active time and days, and how many goals you've achieved, how many calories in apps, it's quite handy. Uh, and these ones we've probably been through already. Overlay position, goals, clear information. Um, so already it's tracking it already. And the time of day that we've um, entered into, session count and so on. So that's just taken us back through our steps. So that's pretty much it. So let's just fire up. Oh, you can see it there. Look, now you've got the. I'd rather it be down there, like right below me, but that's good enough. So let's get into a kind of active game that's not going to give me a copyright strike. Um, to install that, I haven't got that. Let's just do installed apps. Let's just do a quick game of in death and see how we do. So we'll do a few minutes of this and then we'll return and see how much of uh, the move has been tracking us. So we've burned one calorie so far. <laughs> Alright. get some movement going so you can see if it's tracking. There's a good uh, sort of running game on the quest. And um, that game is uh, definitely a good workout. Might try that on side quest soon and show you that on another stream. <laughs> oh, no way.
Oh, can't get this guy. So we've got five calories so far. So looking, losing track in a bit. Might be the light. Calories burn there. Uh, let's go over there. Do we want we want this one? <laughs> All right, so eleven calories. Let's just uh, let's play with this guy a little bit.
Das Prügel sieht er sehen. Ähm. <lacht> right, so. So we've gone for four minutes. We've got 12 calories burned. Let's just return to the, um, return to the hub. Uh, where's my... Right, so... Move is not that easy to get to. You would think it would be almost along here if you're going to use it regular, regularly. So, there we go. So you've got 13 calories burned, four minutes of time spent, and obviously in the apps that we've used, how many calories we've burned and the time that we've spent inside it, so that's going to be a really good way to see uh, how much time you've spent in the actual app itself and how much which app is actually giving you the most calories. That would be quite handy to know. Um, obviously, uh, a box or boxer size or uh, Beat Saber might give you um, a higher amount than games such as this, but I just don't want to play those without getting a copyright strike. So, um, yeah, good uh, addition, even though a little bit controversial, but that's just how um, the development, the way development works these days. Uh, when you create a big successful app, uh, the bigger guys always uh, use that as a means to know that that's what the audience wants and they'll do their own version but it's nicely presented it's native and it works really really well so far so I'll be looking forward to checking more of that out uh, with some other games and seeing which ones um, uh, burn the most alright so thanks for watching if you had liked it give us a like give us a subscribe it really helps us out and I'll see you in the next one cheers bye